Portland, Oregon is a weird place. The unofficial city motto here is Keep Portland Weird. We've got zombie cowboy crop circles, a world famous donut shop that prides itself on a donut covered in Fruit Loops, and a guy who wears a Darth Vader mask and a kilt while playing bagpipes on a unicycle. Yeah, weird. But occasionally Portland's weirdness helps develop something cool that the rest of the world can really appreciate. And that's where this guy comes in. My name's Ezra Samino Hurt. I'm co-founder and current like head dude in charge at Case of Base. On a cold day when work as a contractor had slowed way down, Ezra got inspired. He spotted a cool portable speaker made by TDK and loved its retro look, but money was tight due to lack of work and the speaker was expensive, so he decided to make his own. That's what I do, I think make my own stuff. What started as a personal project grew organically and took months of experimentation and trial and error. Not having an engineering electronics degree, sitting in a garage with a bunch of carpenter's tools, building stuff with hammer and nails that most companies use lasers, you know, we're having to be innovative. That innovative effort produced the first case of base. It was an instant hit with his friends and family who encouraged him to make more. What was once just a personal project was starting to take shape as a full-on business. And from there, the experimentation ramped up too. And we, you know, probably wasted a hundred bucks at the Goodwill buying crappy suitcases that no one would ever use. And you know, I'd have $50 to my name and need food, but I would buy a suitcase. And those cases are critical. The entire speaker design is built around the case itself. The cases are always vintage and used. A lot of drivers are vintage and used, but you know, it's like we can't find enough. The visual element almost comes first. That process of laying stuff out, cut those holes, mount the speakers, and step back and look at it and just be like, that looks so cool. Designing aesthetically with what's available and then tuning that to sound as good as possible. And it's true, that kind of design approach is something that trained engineers would balk at. Sure, all the elements are familiar. Drivers, some mids, tweeters. For those, you're gonna build your crossovers. An amplifier, input selector, Bluetooth chip, the power system. But the way that Ezra gets to the final sound is a little unorthodox. What does this need? Well, it needs some low, so I'm like, we need some bass drivers, and then we're gonna have a mid, a tweet. All right, this horn is gonna be shrill. And yet, it works. Case of bass portable speaker systems sound really good, despite being designed around a visual element first. And that's resulted in some pretty rapid growth for the young company. Last year when I was really, really busy, so it would go, my phone would just go off around the clock because it was like, you know, we've got a good write-up in UK's Daily Mail, so it was like, you know, eight hours difference. People are waking up like, oh, this is cool, let's find out. And I would just hear, like, even in the other room, I would, like, my spidey senses would tingle. In a very short time, business has really picked up. I want everything to continue to improve. You know, if I'm, we're not improving, then we're not doing our job. And all of this because a man wanted a boombox that he could afford. So, instead... We took garbage and we made it something better. <laughs> 